Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm covering a totally different topic than my previous content. A lot of you guys know that I own a Sphinx cat named Giselle. She is all over my Instagram stories and sometimes she casually shows up in my YouTube videos as well. And I do get a lot of questions about this breed. So today I thought I will make a video sharing my experience owning a Sphinx cat for the past four years. So what are the things you need to consider before getting a Sphinx cat? First of all, they are extremely affectionate, they are love bugs 24-7, they always want to be around you, next to you, on top of you. For example, my cat loves to sleep with me every night and cuddle, so they need a lot of attention. If you work long hours and most of the time you're not at home, this breed is not the best for you. Sphinx cats are not as independent as other breeds and they also bond very strongly with their owner so their owner needs to be around them consistently they are also very playful so you got to make sure that you make time to play with them daily otherwise they will do all the things that you not allow them to do just to get your attention for example my cat will go on the chair that she knows she's not supposed to go to she starts scratching on it and look straight into my eyes and as soon as I start walking towards her then she runs away she wants to be chased and then she runs back to me grabbing my feet inviting to play or if I don't give her play time she will be up in the middle of the night running zoomies and doing all kinds of stuff so trust me from my experience make time once or twice a day to play with a sphinx cat next thing since they are hairless their body temperature is higher than other cats just to keep them warm so the temperature and the environment they live in is very important because they can get cold for example my cat has clothes and also she has a heat pad that she absolutely loves and sometimes she even uses that during the summer so you have to keep in mind that you will have to set up the environment to keep them warm the other thing to pay attention to since they're hairless if you want to take them outside you have to put clothes on or a sunscreen to protect their skin from the sun because their skin can easily burn their skin without hair produces more oil and that oil attracts dirt so you have to bathe them consistently I bathe mine once a week or sometimes even twice because she sleeps with me and if she's dirty my own skin reacts by getting red spots so I bathe her once or twice or also between baths you can use baby wipes also their ears produce use way more wax so you have to clean their ears every few days my cat had aggressive six months long air infection so trust me from my experience ears need extra care a little fact sphinx cats are smaller than regular cats before I got mine from photos, I thought that they are regular size, but no, Sphinx cats are very petite. If they play with other cats, be aware that they bruise very fast. There's no hair protecting their skin, so you will see scratches easily. So it's best to keep short nails for all the animals in the house. The best thing that I love about this breed is that Sphinx is one of a few cat breeds that is closest to the puppy behavior. If I call my cat, she always comes to me not as most cats they come to you whenever they feel like it she always greets me at the door when I come back home and demands attention if I don't acknowledge her right away when I come home she will walk around following me and making noise till I pick her up or I pet her she plays fetch with hair rubber bands She knows how to sit and give paw. You hungry? Okay. What do you need to do? Sit. Sit. Paw. Give me paw. Good girl. Let's go. Let's go. And she also loves road trips. Where are you going, mama? 
Hmm? Where are you going? So to summarize, this breed is very fun. If you are not a fan of a common cat behavior and you want something more loving, fun, and playful, this breed is for you. I absolutely love this breed and I told myself that for the rest of my life, I will have a Sphinx. I'm going to make more videos about my cat on this channel, so if you would like to learn more about Sphinx, don't forget to subscribe and I hope I will see you in my next video.